the country. Well, I prefer the town. Mm -hmm. When we put our heads together, we're the best combination around. Emily and Alexander, really quite a pair. Wherever there's adventure, you'll find these two cousins there. We like to visit relatives. Oh, and making friends is fun. Yep, excitement seems to find us. Whenever we do either one Evil rats are all around So trouble soon begins We just put our heads together In the end we always win Country mouse and city mouse We're really quite a pair Wherever there's adventure You'll find these two cousins there Country mouse and city mouse and reunited with Cousin Ned. And off on a Klondike Gold Rush adventure. <laughs> They call it the Gold Rush. Emily, I do believe we've arrived. I can't believe we're finally here. The Yukon, Canada. To think that all these people traveled all this way just for the chance to strike it rich. Oh. Emily! Hold on, Emily! I'm coming! This cup will make a good boat. The water is... Freezing cold. Oh, Emily, the current's too strong. We're not going to make it to land. Well, what's going on? Hello, cousin Ned. Thank you, my dear cousin Emily, and cousin Alexander. Welcome to Dawson City. Come on. Dear me, Ned. A hearty handshake would do. I want you to meet my friend Danny. We traveled here together all the way from San Francisco. Psst. Danny boy. Danny, I'd like you to meet my cousins, Emily and Alexander. Cousins, this is my friend, Danny Johnson. Glad to meet you. Any friend of Cousin Ned's is a friend of ours. It's a pleasure to meet you, Daniel. It's taken us nearly a year to get here, but it's gonna be worth it. When my grandfather died, he left us his claim. It means we can pan for gold on a certain piece of land in the Klondike. This map shows us how to get there. He also left Danny this. A, a gold, gold nugget. nugget! Grandpa found it on his land. Once he reaches claim on Gold Hill, there'll be plenty more. I know it. Gold Hill. I have a map, too. It was given to me by my late great-granduncle Jeremiah. I wonder what treasure it leads to. A double fortune quest. What an adventure. Let's hope we find two mountains of gold, too. Come on, son. We're off to the claims office. We've got to get us some prospecting equipment. Let's go! The gold rush begins! What a stroke of luck! A treasure map for the taking! First a bath in ice water and now a mud bath! And ladies and the gentle mice! Try your luck, find the cheese and win a prize! Ah, a fine prospector come to play. Plenty of cheese to be won. 
Cheese? I am hungry. <laughs> right this way. There's the claims office. Someone there will help us. Where did Ned go? He must be window shopping. Come on, let's catch up to Dad. This is your lucky day, sir. I'm going to put this delicious cheese under one of these cups. Just guess which cup the cheese is under, and it's yours. Only one penny to play. Only one cent? Here you go. A pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the money from the cash register, mister. And by the time somebody comes by, I'll be long gone. <laughs> uh, uh, hello there. Sir, we'd like some information about our claim. Can you tell us how to get to Gold Hill? I have no idea. I mean, I'm uh, closing for lunch. Come back later. But we came all the way from the United States to get my father's claim. <clears throat> he left us this. Gold? Now, what was that you were saying about a claim? Let me see that. Here's my claim. <laughs> what was that noise? That? Oh, uh, mice. Mice? It was most certainly not. Uh, folks, uh, it seems there's been a rash of counterfeit claims circulating through town. If you don't get yours officially stamped, why, uh, uh, the Mounties who patrol the border may stop you and send you back. Can you stamp it for us? Oh, sure. Be happy to. Uh, why don't you folks just hurry out to the general store and get yourself some supplies? Let's go see about that noise. I'll take care of everything. Quiet, you pesky rodents, or I'll have to come in there and deal with you. All righty, sir. One more time. Find the cheese, and the cheese is yours. Okay. One more try. It's under this one. You're right. Again, we have a winner. Mm -hmm. Delicious. I'm ready to play again. This is so easy. But I'm all out of pennies. Hmm. Well, let's see. I'm a reasonable rat. I'll let you play if you have something else of value. Ah, how about this map? Oh, no, I couldn't. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. If you win, you can have the cheese and your map back. Hmm. I'll just make myself a copy of this here map. I tail it to Gold Hill and grab a bit of gold myself. <laughs> Quiet, you. If you don't clam up, you'll be sorry. Yeah. This claim is only good for a year, and it expires in two days. If I can keep them away from it till then, their land will be up for grabs. We have to warn Danny. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> you work here? Uh, yes, sir, I do. Uh, how can I help you? I'm Sergeant Sam Steele of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. This is the notorious Soapy Smith, the most wanted criminal this side of the Chilligoot Pass. Have you seen him? No, sir. No, sir, he Bob. And never seen him before in my life, and I hope I never do, sir. Uh, but I'll keep a lookout. Something about that man looks familiar. Come on. He's a scary-looking fella, but if I see him, I'll be sure and let you know. Time for a little drawing. He's Soapy Smith. I bet that sneaky scallywag is somewhere close by, hiding right under our very noses. But if he is, I'll find him. You can be sure of that. Whew! Fooled him! <laughs> And now, it's time to get to Gold Hill. Let's find Danny. And two of those shovels, please. Psst! Danny! What's the matter? We have to warn you, Danny. That man you gave your claim to isn't a claims officer at all. He's copied your map, and he's after your gold. I have to stop him. Hmm. Come on, what are you waiting for? You won every time. Well, I guess you're right. It's a pretty easy game. There's really no way I could lose. Exactly. Just find the cheese and you can keep your map. Take your pick. Let's see. It's under this one. Oh, sorry, sir. 
you lost fair and square. And that means your map is mine. Ned! <laughs> Ned, where have you been? The Johnsons are having some bad luck. So am I. I just lost my map to this rat. What rat? That rat? Huh? But he was here just a moment ago. Ned, was this rat wearing a bad disguise? Hat, thick beard, glasses. Why? Yes. No, no tail, no good, Nick. He's a cheat, Ned. You couldn't possibly have won. I can't believe it. When I... Huh? There he is! Let's go up and get him. <laughs> Over there! Alexander, look! Soapy Smith! Adios, amigos! <laughs> Sergeant Sam Steele of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, at your service. We're looking for our son. We'll find him, ma'am. I don't understand where he could have gone, unless he went back to the claims office to pick up our claim. There's our ride. Anybody here? this to you hey there looking for some supplies you're welcome to mine if you'd be willing to trade your horse it's a deal well i'm fed up and heading home he tied me up that's soapy smith i've been after him for a long time he copied their map and headed for gold hill our claim Let's go. But where's Danny? Oh, oh, Should have kept the horse. There, it's Soapy. Oh, great, it's that kid. Huh, better skedaddle. Goodness, that sounded like thunder. That's not thunder. It's... At least that avalanche took care of that meddling kid. <laughs> It'll take more than an avalanche to stop this Klondike adventurer. First freezing water, then mud, now snow. Getting closer. Ah, and there's my lift. Might as well help myself. There was an avalanche here, but your boy walked away from it. Come on. Dang! Huh? Bear! Oh, don't eat me! I'm just a passing through! Hey, wait a minute. You're not so scary stuck in that trap, are you? <laughs> Am I scaring you, Cubby? Hurry, this way. He's giving away. That's right, boy. I'm as good as gone. We're too late. He's getting away and we don't have a boat. There must be something we can use. 
I've got it! Your son must be headed to the river. If we hurry, we'll get there in no time. All set. Like magic, a cart becomes a boat. I'm not going to sail in that. <gasps> Wait for me! What was that? Wait here. We'll find out. Oh, look at the poor thing. He's been trapped in a cage. He must have gotten separated from his mother. We've got to get it out. There you go. Don't worry. <laughs> You're free. Go find your mom. Don't be afraid, cousin. There's our monster. Now let's catch Sophie. I think he wants to come with us. Want to come along? Maybe we can find your mom for you. No, no, there's not enough. Hop in. Ice water. Snow, and now, with fur. Let's give you a name. How about Cody? <laughs> Hang on! We've got to get through these rapids. This looks like a good campsite. I hope we don't run into any more of those. Ice water, mud, snow, wet fur, rapids. What next? There! There's that rascal's boat! I see a campfire. Come on. A, a bear? bear? Yep. And these tracks are pretty fresh. I'd say they're not more than a half hour ahead of us. Just a little sleep, and then I'll strike it rich. <laughs> Nighty night, my beautiful treasure map. Time to get those maps back. Allow me. It'll be a pleasure. <laughs> Danny's map is in here. Huh? My map! Somebody snapped my map! Huh? What was that? A rat! I'll teach you to disturb my sleep! <laughs> I saw that kid with Emily and Alexander. I bet they stole my map. Where's my map? My map! It's gone! It's that kid. He took my map! Wait for me! Get back here with my map! And mine, too. <laughs> nice bear. Nice bear cup. Hey, I'll take this. He took my map again. You two get no tail. I'll help Danny. <laughs> no mouse is a match for this fleet footed rat.
Gotcha now. You must think I'm a fool to fall for this trick. <laughs> Get back here! Now, it's just you and a huge mama bear! Oh! <laughs> Look at the happy reunion, cousin! Goodbye, Cody! Danny! Ma! Pa! Thank goodness you're all right! Sergeant Steele helped us find you. I give up. Take me in. Just protect me from the bear. Soapy Smith, you're under arrest. Folks, could be a blizzard on its way. We'd best be off. There's a mounty outpost right nearby. Wait, there's one more thing I have to do. It's right here. This is our claim. It's mine, I tell you. Mine! Mine! <laughs> oh, no, it's not. It's mine! What is it, son? We've struck gold! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this because of a bear! <laughs> well, I'd say that once this storm lets up and you can get back to that gold field, you'll be very rich. I don't believe it. This is a map of this very mounty outpost. And Great Grand Uncle's treasure should be right under here. A loose floorboard. I found it. I found the treasure. Is, is it gold? Better than gold, cousins. It's aged cheddar cheese. It just goes to show, Alexander. All that glitters is not gold. Quite right, dear Emily. Sometimes it's cheddar. Mm. 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 Here it is, the island of Crete. 
Right here, in the Mediterranean. Cousin Nico sounded very excited about our visit. That's because he has something wonderful to show us. The ancient ruins of the Palace of Gnosis. I didn't know you were interested in archaeology, Alexander. My dear Emily, deep down, there is an archaeologist in me struggling to get out. <laughs> I can hardly wait to meet him. <laughs> Isn't that charming? I love to visit these simple countries. They are so quaint. Emily, not so fast. Oh, whoa! <laughs> ah, a mouse! Help! Hang on! Sound. I just wish it were the same with my luggage. Well, you know what they say, Alexander. You win some, you lose some. Emily, Alexander, I'm so glad you are here. Cousin Nikos, you seem worried. Is something wrong? Elepame, please come <laughs> quickly. There's trouble at the excavation site. Priceless artifacts keep disappearing. It's a mystery. Every time they find something, it disappears soon after. What are these treasures? Gold? Or diamonds? No, it is things like pottery vases and small ceramic figurines. Oh. Well, they're nice too. We oh. love to solve mysteries, Nikos. Let's go! Huh? What? Could it be? Oh, no, it can't be them. Emily and Alexander are ten. Are those annoying little mice following me? Stealing the old stuff at the excavation site and selling it to rat collectors is the best keeper I've ever had. I won't let them ruin everything. Aha! Uh -huh. I've got a way to stop them. Hey, you! The moving carpet! What do you call a cat who is as slow as you? A catnapper! <laughs> I'm a genius. Look out! Cat attack! Come with me! What? Hey, Gata! Mr. Cat, I'm here! Haristo. Thank you, Costas. Home, Gata. <laughs> Leave my friends alone, little Gata. My dear cousins, this is my best friend, Costas. I live in his home. Welcome to Crete. We're sure glad you came by. 
If these mice mess up my plans, they'll be sorry they ever set paw on this island. This is incredible. The Palace of Nosos, the center of civilization 4,000 years ago. My patera, my father, is working at the excavation site with other people of the village to uncover priceless objects. But lately, the artifacts have been disappearing, and we still don't know why. No! I cannot believe it! More treasures have disappeared? Spiros! Spiros, where are you? Who's that? That's Arthur Evans, a British archaeologist. He leads the excavation. He is so rich, he bought all the land around the palace. For archaeologists like Mr. Evans, those objects are priceless because it helps them to learn how people lived in the past. Mr. Evans, come quick! We found a big bull's head sculpture. Lead on, I'm right behind you. Pame, come on! Let's see this new discovery. Ha! Maybe inside I'll find a way to get rid of those meddling mice for good. Here we are. Tell us, Costas, what is the legend of this palace? It's a story as old as the place itself. Once upon a time, there was a king named Minos, the most powerful ruler of Crete, who held the Minotaur, a monster half bull, half man, in a labyrinth beneath the palace. A labyrinth is a giant maze where once you get in, it's almost impossible to get out. The Minotaur lived in the center of it. Minos was a ruthless man, and he ordered that every nine years, 14 young men and women must be thrown in the labyrinth to satisfy the hunger of the Minotaur. One of the young men about to be sent was Theseus. He met Minos' daughter, Ariadne, and they fell in love with each other. Before Theseus entered the labyrinth, Ariadne gave him a spool of thread, which he tied to a column and unrolled to mark his path. When Theseus met the Minotaur, they became locked in a long and ferocious battle. Theseus defeated the Minotaur, and by following the thread, came easily out of the labyrinth. Theseus and Ariadne fled to Athens, while Minos, crushed by sorrow, watched his daughter leave him forever. Oh, these legends, a Minotaur, half bull, half man. I don't believe it. I'd like you, Goody Alexander, to run into that Minotaur one day. Ah, the Minotaur! It's alive! Watch out! I... I thought the Minotaur was a legend. How could it be alive? Well, let's see for ourselves. Couldn't we, uh, just take their word for it? <gasps> Minotaur? Oh, that can't be. It's a legend. It, it, it must have been an illusion. Everyone's afraid of a little shadow, huh? Very interesting. And a roar. Well, it must be the wind going through the corridors. We will continue the excavation. I'm sorry, Mr. Evans, but we don't want to go back inside the palace. Not with that monster living there. Don't be ridiculous. Besides, Minotaur or not, we must find what's happening to my artifacts. Now, wait a second. Where's the foreman? Where's Spiros? I don't know. He's not here. He always seems to be away when something disappears. Maybe he has something to do with it. He's talking about Patera, my father. He has access to everything on the site. Send Spiros to see me as soon as he gets back. My father is not a thief. He loves the artifacts and everything that is Cretan. It seems that the only way Mr. Evans will be convinced... ...is if we find what is really happening to the treasures from the palace. Will you help us, Nikos? Nay. You won't help us? Of course I will. I said nay. Doesn't nay mean no? No. In Greek, nay means yes. 
And no is Ohi. Oh, I see. No, Ohi. Oh, Greek is a beautiful language, but it gives me a splitting headache. Why don't we begin our investigation tomorrow? It's getting dark and we're all tired and hungry. Here, my friends, it's an herbal tea made with ingredients found on Crete. Chamomile, linden, a bit of mint, and for taste, a tad of lemon zest. It will help you sleep tonight. After seeing that monster, we surely need it. Thank you. It tastes wonderful. Good night, Costas. Don't stay up too late. Patera, you'll never believe what Mr. Evans said about you. He thinks you stole the artifacts. I know, I know. Don't worry, Mr. Evans has a lot on his mind. I'm sure everything will be fine. But where were you? They were looking all over for you. I had many things to do. Good night. Lately, my father seems unhappy and very preoccupied. I would be too if I was wrongly suspected like he is. Well, it's too early to sleep now. What should we do? I have an idea. Let's make shadows. Costas and I do this all the time. Nah, that's a great idea. Look, it's a rabbit. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Okay, now, my turn. Meow, meow. I'm a gata. Phew, I can't stand cats, even in pictures. Don't worry about that. I'll take care of the cat. Wolf, wolf, wolf. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> We found nothing but endless corridors and rubble. Maybe we should check outside. Don't despair too quickly. Look! Hmm. Interesting. This is, without a doubt, a print left by a rat. And where there are rat prints, there's a rat. Usually up to no good. Excellent deduction, my dear Emily. Let's see if we can find this rat. It's them, those pesky mice. Well, I have a little trick that'll get rid of them for good. <gasps> What's that? Oh no, it's the Minotaur! Quick, run! Wait, look closely at the shadow. It's shrinking. It's too small to be a real bull. Quick, pretend you're running away. Wait for me at the next corner. They're gone. I am fantastic. It's not the Minotaur. It's a rat. A rat with no tail. That's no Minotaur. It's the rat. It's no tail, no good, Nick. The most famous no good rat in the world. So he's been scaring everyone so he could rob the treasures. He won't get away with this. I know what to do. Huh. This plan is working better than I thought. Those mice are scared by a shadow. They are so pitiful. <laughs> Nikos, your cat imitation sounded very convincing. That dirty rat, he has a lot to answer to. We better not go after him. The labyrinth is down that way. It's a very complicated maze, and it has not yet been mapped. No tail could be lost there for quite a long time. We hope. <laughs> and there you have it. Mystery solved. I can't wait to tell Father and Mr. Evans now we know it was a rotten rat who has been stealing the artifacts. How can it be? The bull's head sculpture has been stolen. The finest piece of all. Gone! That big bull sculpture? That sculpture's too heavy for no tail to steal. 
Then if No Tail didn't take it, who did? This is unacceptable. You're the foreman, and you're responsible for the safety of my artifacts. Your artifacts. Your excavation. It's always about you. Those treasures belong to Crete. Spiros, where were you when the bull sculpture was stolen? Hmm? Every time something disappears, you're not here. Can you explain? No. Then you're fired. Fine. Oi, no. Father, why didn't you defend yourself? I do not like him. How can he keep for himself what rightly belongs to our people? This is terrible. I don't understand what's going on. Now Mr. Evans and your father are at each other's throats. And we are back where we started. Someone other than No-Tail is taking artifacts and we have no idea who it is. Who could have stolen the bull's head sculpture? <laughs> Alexander! Alexander? Are you okay? Good thing we city mice huh, are a tough lot. Hmm. Wait a minute. By my whiskers. The artifacts. They're all here. The Minotaur! Explain. Mr. Evans is... Mr. Evans? Oh, no. He must not see this. We have to put them back. I know. I will scare away the people in the palace, and you can put all the objects back where they were. No! Wait! Don't! Come on, you two! Help me up! Take my hands! Whoa, Nikos! Kostas is going to get in trouble. Come on! Come on. I just need a little clue. A footprint. A thread. Anything. Oh, no. Not again. Isn't that peculiar? Marvelous. I finally caught the little thief who took my treasures. No, Mr. Evans. I'm the one who took your artifacts. You see, Costas, Mr. Evans owns the palace, including all the objects that come with it. I could not bear to see these incredible objects taken away from Crete, our homeland. I used the myth of the Minotaur to scare people, so the treasures would not be taken away. Spiros, I... I'm shocked. I know. I betrayed your trust. No, I'm shocked because I don't want to keep the artifacts. I bought the land so I could excavate the site my own way, for the thrill of discovery. But the palace and all the objects are to be handed over to the Cretan people, to whom they rightfully belong. I should have made that clear before. I'm sorry. I did not like being a thief. I just wanted to protect my people's heritage. Now, I will go to the police. You really care about the antiquities, don't you? Very much. Then I have an idea. Spiros, perhaps you could be the curator of the museum where the treasures will be kept. Me? Yay! Marvelous! Emily, Alexander, Thank you again for your help. We're just glad that the Minotaur is gone and the excavation site is busy again. Costa says they're even starting to excavate the labyrinth. The labyrinth? No tell might still be stuck in there. Huh. I'd rather not even think about that rascal. I've got to 
get out of here. I hope this is an exit. cousins come back soon i hope there will be no mice this time ah! oh dear <laughs> <laughs> i'll never forget our visit to crete seeing nikos and meeting costas Or actually, the Mousator. <laughs> <laughs> funny, Emily. Very funny. We'll be starting our visit to sunny Mexico. Any idea how we're going to get from this ship to that shore? Not to worry. We'll think of something. Aha! Just what we need. Follow me! Come on, Emily! It's fun! Whee We've made it through the most difficult part. From here on in, it's smooth sailing. Emily and Alexander. Bienvenido. Welcome to Mexico. Oh, thank 
Thank you, Maria. I was beginning to think we'd never see land again. Well, don't lose your sea legs yet, Emily. We're due to set sail any moment. What is that? It's a mini submarine. They were invented to explore under the sea, but Barton McScavenge and his scruffy cat Nibs use theirs to steal treasure other people find. Maria! Any luck at the bank, Father? Oh, they won't give me another loan unless we find the San Galente within the next two days. We'll have to sell our boat. What's the San Galente? A sunken Spanish galleon. It's what we've been searching for. You said we had two days, right? So what are we waiting for? We're wasting time. See, si, you're right. Let's get to work. Here we go. This is so exciting. I can't believe we're actually going on a real life treasure hunt. Maria. After all the times Jose's found treasure, and I've sneaked it out from under his nose, you'd think he'd learn to watch for us following him. <laughs> Barton, what do you want? I hear you're looking for the San Galente. Well, I hope you find it. And why is that? So I can swoop in with my trusty mini-sub and get the credit and the treasure, just like always! Um, Maria... We're not afraid of you or your mean old cat, Barton. We'll beat you this time. We'll see about that! Happy hunting! <laughs> Barton is a nasty man. I was going to say the same thing about his cat. We'll just follow Jose and see if today is our lucky day. The San Galente was a Spanish galleon that sailed back in the 16th century, searching for treasure. Then one dark night it sank after a violent storm. Legend has it that the San Galente is still holding its treasures, waiting for someone to find it. I bet people have been searching for years. Most people think the San Galente is just a story. But not my father. He's convinced that the San Galente sank somewhere around here. I just hope he's right. Don't worry, Maria. If it is out here, we'll help you find it. Well, I have something that can help us, too. Follow me, and I'll show you. Down we go. Woo! It's my latest invention. I call it a mouse submarine. Mouse sub for short. It works on the same principles as Barton's mini sub. I haven't had a chance to try it out yet, but I'm convinced it will work. Whoops! <laughs> what was that? That was the beginning of our treasure hunt. And goes away. I have a feeling that today I'm going to find it, Maria. I'm searching a new area, and... Ay, 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 Catamba! That's some treasure you found, Jose. I guess your luck has changed. <laughs> you can have this too, Barton. <laughs> You'll be sorry you did that. I hate fish. I wish that sub would spring a leak. All working! We only have two days to search, and we have to find the San Galente before Barton does. What are you doing? I'm going to dive down, too. Would you like to come? Would we? I'll stay here and watch the air pump and work on my mouse sub. Be careful down there. Wish us luck. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just deflating the suit to help us see. The 
This is breathtaking. Uh-oh, I don't think I want Father to see me just yet. Not until I find the treasure. Shh, 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 shark! Don't be afraid. See? <laughs> it's a dolphin, Alexander. Well, it looked like a shark. I think he wants us to follow him. Hey, wait up! Where'd he go? There you are! Let's see if he comes back out. What was that? Just an eel. Oh my. Uh, well, it's not a shark this time. It's an... for this cave. We'd better get back to the boat, Maria. If your father gets there first, he'll be worried. Look! Another hole! A shipwreck! Unfortunately, this wreck is metal. See? It's all rusted. The San Galente was made of wood. There's writing on that telescope. What does it say? The San Galente! How did a telescope from the San Galente end up here? Maybe a sea creature carried it here, or it floated over in the current. However it got here, it means the wreck of the San Galente must be very close. We have to tell Father! Ah! Maria, hit him with the telescope! Such hard work. What? Well, well, well. What do we have here? Oh, they're coming up. That was the best adventure we've ever had. Although, I could have done without the octopus. Maria! That was very dangerous. You could have... Father, look! Read the inscription! <gasps> this is from the San Galente! You were right. The ship does exist, and it's somewhere close by. Where did you find this? I'll show you. Come on! <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> we'll let them lead us to the San Galente, and then we'll make our move. But how? 
the airlines? That's it! Let's get rid of Jose once and for all. <laughs> us to the treasure. Well, he's not gonna win this time. I'll swim up to the boat and get the spare airline. Be careful. Don't worry. I'll be fine. After all, I have my two guardian mice to look after me. It's Barton. He's found the wreck. He'll beat us to the treasure. We have to delay him somehow. I've got an idea. Needs a little more gas. What the? Great. Just great. You'll never guess. I just took the mouse sub out for its maiden voyage. It works perfectly. Why are you hooking up the spare airline to the air pump? Emily and Alexander will explain. I've got to get back to my father. What's going on? Carlos, we need to take your mouse sub underwater. But I've only tested it once. There are still some design flaws. We have no choice. Come on, I'll explain as we go. Hold on. Sorry, I haven't worked out all the flaws yet. Hurry, Carlos. Maria needs our help. Jose's in trouble and Barton is going to beat us to the treasure. Not if I have anything to do with it. about hooking this up. for more drastic action. Emily, Alexander, hold on! Yeah, 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 yeah! I think it worked! Yep, it worked. Caramba! Yes! Through here! find the wreck soon. The mouse sub only holds enough air for us to breathe for about uh, five minutes. 
five minutes? It's another one of those design flaws I haven't quite worked out yet. Whoa! Look out! It's our friend! I say! Follow him! Doubloons. This must be the San Galante. How are we going to get back up to the surface to tell Maria? We're not. In exactly one minute, we'll be out of air. Maybe the dolphin can help. We're running out of air. Please help us. Let's go find the San Galente. Carlos, what are you doing here? <gasps> Maria, we have found the San Galente. It was buried under the other wreck all this time. You, mm. oh, come on, we have to tell Father. Go ahead. We'll catch up to you after we've made a few minor repairs. <laughs> I hope it holds till we get to the surface. Carlos, you really have to do something about the submersion process, hmm? recover the treasure well quite some time there's a fair amount of it down there oh, it's a good thing I have someone to help me right Maria yes father I couldn't have done it without you <gasps> Barton? <laughs> This is all your fault, Jose! You set that octopus on me! Octopus? What octopus? You haven't seen the last of me! <laughs> what now? Oh, no! Uh, was there an octopus down there? Well... I'd say that was one of our most exciting adventures yet. Right, Alexander? Alexander? Alexander, are you all right? <gasps> I'm fine. <laughs> Don't be discouraged. You know what they say. If it... <laughs> uh, funny, Alexander. Very funny. <laughs>
the best combination around. Emily and Alexander were really quite a pair. Wherever there's adventure, you'll find these two cousins there. We like to visit relatives. Oh, and making friends is fun. Yep, excitement seems to find us whenever we do either one. Cousin Emily, Cousin Alexander, I welcome you to Tokyo, Japan. It's marvelous, Cousin Fumi. <laughs> Traveling with Alexander is like being with a herd of elephants. Everywhere you look, nothing but trunks. <laughs> it was kind of you to invite us to the 7 by 3 festival, Cousin Kumi. We just love festivals. What's this one for? On this day, Japanese children start growing up and wear fancy clothes for the first time, especially 7, 5, and 3-year-old children. Ooh, what fun! Do the girls wear party dresses? They wear kimonos, Emily, with large sashes called ovis. Why, Alexander, you know all about the Japanese fashion. Alexander knows what the well-dressed mouse is wearing all over the world. Then you'll enjoy my home. I live in a silk shop with my friend Kiko, just up ahead. Her papa makes the most beautiful kimonos in all of Tokyo. What a lovely shop, and such a nice neighborhood. So peaceful and... <gasps> oh, my! Are all your customers in such a hurry? They're not two customers. They're thieves. Oh! There's another one coming this way. Allow us. Alexander. The nerve of that rat. Oh, no. Fumi. Fumi. <gasps> Those haku rats. They have stolen all the silk. And ruined what they left behind. Rats are rats all over the world. Why, if only we'd arrived one minute earlier, I'd have shown them... <clears throat> uh, I'd have shown them... Uh, this lovely piece of silk. Oh, my, yes. Uh, see how it brings out the color of your eyes? Uh, huh? We'll be back. Out of my way. Oh, no! What's happened? Fumi? Fumi, where are you? Fumi? Thank goodness you're safe. Oh, Kiko, it was terrible. Rats were here, and they stole all the silk. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Alexander, and this is my cousin Emily. Welcome to Japan. You are on a guest in our home. Oh, Father, we have been robbed. All our beautiful silk gone. Well. Not all of it. <gasps> Quick, in here. It's the Emperor. Emperor? Oh, your majesty, princess, 
you grace our humble shop. A thousand pardons. My shop is not normally so messy. Silence. You are Odo-san, the silk maker? The Princess Mitsumi requires a kimono for the 753 festival. Show us your best painted silks. I regret that I have only this unpainted silk, your majesty. What? You dare suggest that my daughter were unpainted silk? Oh, no, never. But if you would allow me to create a new design... Hmm. But it must be one that would befit an imperial princess. Very well. Bring a selection of your finest painted silks to the palace tomorrow morning. And remember, it must be more beautiful than any that has been seen before. Kiko, my brushes and ink, hurry! Poor Oda-san. He has to have all that work done by tomorrow morning? What if the rats come back and steal this silk too? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Precisely. Don't worry, Fumi. Alexander and I have a plan. And it's a real bell ringer. <laughs> Almost there, daughter. It is beautiful, father. <sighs> Come, Kiko. It's time to rest. We've both worked hard. But, father, there's still one bolt left, and I'm not even <sighs> sleepy yet. We've done the best we can. my cousin. Please, enjoy. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, how clumsy. I do apologize. Emily, uh, try it like this. You'll get the hang of it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> the rats! They're here! Run those mice? Where are they? Come out, come out, wherever you are! <laughs> oh, sorry. Let's go! those rodents run Emily oh dear the rats have ruined the silk oh my oh well at the least we saved the rest of the silk that's true and I'm sure we'll find some use for this piece waste not want not that certainly was exciting and tomorrow's going to be even more exciting Kiko's going to the palace Maybe we can go with her. Ooh, the palace. What shall I wear? Alexander, I told you to hold still. You know we can't get into the palace unless we look Japanese. Ouch! But do I have to look like a Japanese girl? So sorry, Alexander. But we only have the silk with the big flowers that the rats spilled the paint on. Besides, you look lovely. Here. No, this is too much. 
Alexander, do you want to visit the Imperial Palace or not? If either one of you breathes a word of this to anyone, I'll deny it. Now remember, at the palace, we must beware of the royal mouse catcher. Mouse catcher? Surely you don't mean... Hi, an enormous white cat that roams the palace day and night. They say it has one green eye and one yellow one and loves to eat mice. Oh, stuff and nonsense. We're not afraid, are we, Alexander? There. Of course we're not afraid. What color did you say those eyes were? We must hurry. Kiko and Oda-san are about to leave. Here is a silk, Father. But one piece is missing. I've looked everywhere. It does not matter. We have enough to please the Emperor. Emily, you look so pretty. And you too, Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> We made these kimonos out of a piece of silk that was ruined when the rats came back. They look lovely. Now come. To the palace. I hope the emperor likes our silk, father. Me too, Kiko. Me too. Silk Nika, Your Majesty. Yes, yes, show me your silks. Yes, Your Majesty. Too dark. Yes, Your Majesty. Too light. Yes, Your Majesty. Too bright. Of course, you're... Too dull. I see, Your Majesty. These works of art are breathtaking. Let's go look for more things. Alexander seems to be enjoying himself. Well, I hope he doesn't enjoy himself so much that he forgets about the royal mouse catcher. Alexander, look out for the cat. No royal mouse catcher can catch me. I'm not scared of any cat. <laughs> Too blue. For me. <gasps> Quick, jump. <laughs> oh, your little kimonos. Stop. You cannot just walk around the Imperial Palace. Where have you been? Show me that. Now this is silk fit for a princess. But your majesty... The kimono must be ready for tomorrow morning. Wait! What 
a sweet little mouse. <laughs> I would love to have it. Of course, princess. Kiko. I would be most honored if you would accept my mouse as a humble gift. Her name is Fumi. Certainly not. We need to get her back with Kiko, where she belongs. I think we should go rescue her. Oh my. How will we ever find her? Where there's a will, there's a way. The question is, which way? You're the first friend I've ever had. But you're a princess. You must have lots of friends. There are no other children in the palace. It's very lonely here. Kiko's lonely too. She's so busy helping her father, she doesn't have time to play. But I thought only princesses were lonely. I don't know how many more trees I can climb. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's getting cold. I hope Fumi's somewhere safe and warm. <laughs> I have a feeling Fumi's just fine. Look. We found her! Finally! Cat Sooks! <gasps> it's a dragon! Fear not, Emily! I'll save you from this savage beast! This dastardly dragon has met its match! Alexander, it's a kite. Uh, I knew that. I have an idea. Remember that trapeze act at the Moscow Circus? This is no time for reminiscing, Alexander. No, no, watch! Come on! You can do it! In for a penny, in for a pound, here I come! <laughs> Come on, let's go get Fumi. Fumi, wake up. Emily, Alexander, how did you find me? It was a breeze. Goodbye, Princess Mitsumi. I hope we meet again. Come on, follow us. worked all night I think we'll have to help them good idea let's get to it first we take some silk prepare a little paint and instead of finger painting we'll do some pink painting this way that way <laughs> We've done it! It's so beautiful! I don't remember it looking this good last night! <laughs> Fumi! You're back! 
Quickly, Kiko. The Royal Guard will be here for the kimono at any moment. And there'll be enough silk left over to make an obi for a very special girl to wear to the festival this afternoon. Oh, thank you, Father. You know, Kiko, wearing this obi means you're becoming a young lady now. And a young lady always keeps her word. Remember, you gave Fumi to the princess. You're right, father. You understand, don't you, Fumi? I have to take you back to Princess Mitsumi. I know. It is the honorable thing to do. Oh, dear. look like sisters. Princess, I have something that belongs to you. Domo arigato. Thank you very much. But Fumi belongs with you, Kiko. Oh, but that's a... Mouse! 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 Fumi! Whoa, 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 whoa. I've got her, and I've got them. <laughs> All this excitement has made me hungry. I know I can do this. You did it! Well done, Emily. <laughs> I figured it out. Eating with chopsticks is like knitting with one hand. Everyone say, sushi! Sushi! Fumi writes that Mitsumi and Kiko have become the best of friends. Isn't that nice? Just amazing. The daughters of a silk merchant and an emperor. Best friends. Oh, it's not so amazing, Alexander. After all, it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor. True friendship comes from sharing. Quite right, Emily. Quite right. <laughs> <laughs>